minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SES 20 and 21 for SES, the leading provider of global content connectivity solutions. Jesse Gonzalez providing launch vehicle send data. And 40 seconds on the plane. Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And the vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And the RD-180 is now throttling back up as expected. Engine response continues to look good. Passing a minute into flight, continuing to see uh, good SRB chamber pressures. Uh, RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are uh, responding well to demands on the engine. Vehicle is continuing right down the middle of the range track. Burnout on all three SRBs. Standing by for SRB jettison in about 20 seconds. And we have good jettison of all three SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. And the RD-180 is throttled down as expected. Engine response continues to look good. About two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Uh, the vehicle is now 45 miles in altitude, uh, 70 miles downrange, traveling at 5,500 miles per hour. Passing three minutes into flight, the uh, RD-180 is throttling down again, as expected. Engine response continues to look good, and the RCS system is now pressurizing to flight levels. And about one minute remaining in the boost phase of flight. And we've had good indication of payload fairing jettison and Centaur forward load reactor jettison. And the RD-180 is now uh, throttling up as expected. Engine response continues to look good. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6G acceleration limit. And Centaur has begun the uh, boost phase chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. Standing by for BECO shortly. And we've had BECO, booster engine cutoff. And we've had Atlas Centaur separation and seeing good uh, pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for MES-1 shortly. And we have ignition for the first burn of today's mission. Uh, this will be the first of three Centaur burns for today's mission. It will last a little over seven minutes. <laughs> 